Stella, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I saw some of your video yesterday, but I think you put another one out today, haven't you? done that much so far I'm, I'm trying to decide on the stuffing I think I've done enough I've got to stitch her up but I want it to be a soft doll this one I did oh yes I saw that I want it to be a soft cuddly doll I've done this one and it's not cuddly it's a hard dog and it's going to be played with by a little girl it's not going to be for show or anything. I just don't know what to do you reckon a bit more I don't want her too stiff she's got to have arms on like that hi Tanya just a little I was thinking a bit more in the head maybe Right, let's shove it up in the head a bit more. That has a bit as tight as it. Got a bloody rip there. Repair that. Up you go in the head. Right. Oh. 
Let's see, where are I? Have on Stella, STG, Stella, Stella, right? I don't know if you'd like to come in, Stella, but I've just sent you the link in Facebook Messenger. And you're most welcome to come in if you want to. Yeah, which means a bit more now in the body. It's not that I haven't got enough stuffing because I've got plenty. Oh, glue book. Never made one of those. Never made one of those, Tanya. That's still a bit wobbly there. A bit more. I don't want to do it anymore. There's a repair I've got to do there. Let me get it done now. Yeah, that's how I felt, Tanya, and that's why I went to the sewing. Because... I just felt a bit like that. I just needed something else to do. And watching Ruby, of course. Gave me the incentive to do what I'm doing. Oh. Hi, Clint. Here we go, ladies. He's Stella. Hi, Hello. <laughs> I don't know if my camera will go up. <laughs> oh no, that turns it upside down. Oh dear. <laughs> now, ladies, we have the expert now. <laughs> so, she'll probably tell me off for what I'm doing, but I'm going to try it first. I've got a little hole come in the fabric at the neck. Yeah, give her a nice little plump tummy. You can give, do that without being, um, you know, hard. Yeah. Yeah, the other one just because the last one I saw with her with was, you know, it really sat nicely in her arm when she was carrying it. Yeah. And this first one I've done, nah, it won't. So that's why I've decided to make another one. The other one was a bit thin, was it? Didn't you think? Yes. Yeah. There wasn't enough to it. I mean, this one's not that fat, but it is fatter. No. That's what I say. It's ended up more like a damn it doll than a, <laughs> <laughs> a doll doll. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my little one from the oops from the video I did. Oh, gorgeous! Clint watched me do that, didn't you, Clint? 
Yes, I saw some of that. I watched a bit of it last night. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I'm hoping now that, that will hold there. And I'll cover that up with the dress. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Right. Let's do wow. this. Tanya says she's, she keeps missing Ruby if she can't. Yeah, I do. She's on too early in the morning for me. All oh, right, yeah. So I don't get. The other morning I was awake, so I popped in. Right, let's go see what I'm doing now rather than see me. You don't need to see me. But um, I've got loads of fabrics here, but I didn't have anything I really wanted for the dress. Yeah. So I went to Spotlight yesterday, and I've come back with this. This one is for the dress. And it's pretty. And it's a nice soft one. So we yeah. can pull yeah. it. It was actually on the... Um, it's a bit fine, I think, for... Um, quilting but it's on the quilting cotton lawn they call it i don't know what that is all oh, right yeah that's that's not a, a thick cotton it's not a thick no. cotton. well that's exactly what i want something that's gonna drape yeah and i thought with a and bit of lace cool. with a bit of lace or something on it mm. it should you know look good absolutely and, and then the other, one? the other one for the night you know the oh, sleepy, nice. sleepy side. Oh, I love that. Yeah. And then we're both $6 a metre, so I don't need a metre, but I thought, well, I might as well get the metre. Well, you can always use it for something else. Yeah. So that's what I bought yesterday. Oh, and then I hadn't got the right colour wall because that was got black hair and it looks like a witch. And trying to find a colour for the hair was quite difficult but i found this one. Oh, and nice. it's got, it's got a sparkle in it it's got a silky feel mm -hmm. and it's got a as you can see oh sparkle. i can see that that's lovely so i thought well that'll do that'll make yeah the... that's lovely have you seen the doll i'm doing stella no i haven't what is it oh of course, she might not look like that because of the face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, very nice. Yeah. So, but well, I've on. never made one before, so I'm keen to watch you do it. Well, neither have I. I mean, I've never made dolls, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but there's quite a few patterns on the internet, but... You mm. could probably make up your own and you'll be able to design your own. And you never know, I might like it and make another one. <laughs> well, you never know. There's a challenge thrown at me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure is. So, and I actually screwed wow. at my friends yesterday. Sorry? I went to my friends after I'd been to Spotlight. Mm hmm and she's the one who gave me all my um, fat quarters I've got. Right. And I was showing her this fabric that I've got. And she says, well, why didn't we look in my fabrics? I says, because you've got none left. I'm sure I have, she said. I said, I don't think so. So we were digging in her cupboards again. Uh, half of it's still in the car. <laughs> but... There was one box, and just look at these fabrics. Oh, they're not suitable for my dolly, but look at those. Oh, look at those rich greens. Yeah, greens and blues, and there's purple. Oh, my. And this is a great big piece, this end bit, that. Wow. That's yardage in that one. Yeah. I'll put the camera just on mine 
picture at the moment while I'm showing you. Be able to make a whole quilt out of all that. Well, you know, that's what I'm thinking, but, you know, I'm not very imaginative, but it's something to try and think of working on. That's beautiful stuff. Yeah, well, that's just the average size of one piece. Well, that's like... That's a big yardage, the... God, that's gorgeous. That's in half. So it's a bit bigger than a wow. fact. And it is... She sent from it from America because it was still in the box it arrived in. The Ginny Bayer palette by Jimmy Bayer of oh, RJ. Ginny RJ Bayer designed some gorgeous fabrics. Well, She's this is one of the is. And I think this was going to be a quilt. Absolutely. And I think I all of those fabrics go together. Yeah. As I say, they come in one big lot in a... Yeah. Yeah. In a, an American box. So that is going to be a quilt, obviously. Yeah. So that's what I've got to try and work out with it. Oh, God, that's beautiful. I don't know what, but... Maybe I'll work something out for you. Yeah, gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. So that was beautiful some... Colors. Some of what I got, <laughs> all in the fabric line. No, there was, she's had them before and I've had some of her. Mm. Boxes, she's got boxes of um, the curtain sandals. anymore. Hey? Does she not quilt anymore? No. She's, um, oh, I'll talk to you later. Um, no. I love that peach one behind on the bench there. That, that one? That one. That's my ironing board. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's my ironing board. Okay. <laughs> so, um, it's a nice fabric. <laughs> yeah. But she also gave me, well, there's other boxes, but this big bag of stuff. <laughs> and I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but. Was that fabric or, or wool? It's fabric, but it's Lurex, like a Lurex fabric. Oh, wow. That, it is not orange, it's bright red. What would you I'll do see. with that? I don't know. I wouldn't. Not cool thing. No idea. But she was just throwing left, right and centre. So there's that. And then there's this, there's two or three pieces of this, the black and silver lyrics. Oh my, I could see a gothic doll made in that. Could you? Yeah. Oh, see, I, I don't have an imagination, so <laughs> I'll send you some and you can make it because there's oh, plenty okay. here. I have to send you some. Gorgeous. Wow. I'll leave a piece out to send you. Do you want some of the red too? Oh yes, please. So I'll cut you a no, I'll piece. design a die die doll. I'll um cut a piece off of that. Okay. And then there's lots of this stuff. It's an iron on stuff. Oh yeah, is it a paper backed one? It's like a, it is like a paper. Oh. I don't know if, um, there's another one there, look, it's very. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've, I've used that, that top one, that top thing. And this. Okay. This sort of thing. Super film. Stabilizer, yeah. wow. 
Yeah. Is this I don't know what they are. Oh. Oh, wow. I wouldn't know what you'd use that for. That's rough on that side. There's two tubes of that. There was two pairs of um, quilters gloves. Not that, because I bought that the other day off. Oh, um, how sweet is that? Oh, no, but it's got embroidery in that on it, so I'm not going to like doing it. You don't have to do anything good now. Uh, and, and then, then the, that was my now. now this I've never seen. A magnifying glass. But it's a reducing magnifier. Oh. Oh, is that to sort of um get your colours right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so there's the picture on the page on the box, mm. and that's it looking. Strange. Yeah, never heard of one. On both sides, wow. Yeah. Huh? And there's other bits and stuffs in here. Uh, I don't know what. There's a lot of um, these. Oh, stencils, yeah. So I don't know what you use them for. You use Unless them for, um, for marking out your quilt, ready for quilting on the machine. All right. Well, a few of them. No. And then the other thing is a box of templates. And oh boy. A box of what? Templates. Templates, templates. Oh, yeah. okay. Where did I put that? Oh. oh, this is a heavy one. You got all this from your friend yesterday. Yeah. Wow, she was clear now, wasn't she? <laughs> See, there's this box. It's full of templates. Templates, templates, what do you say? Templates, templates I say. But, and uh, heaps of these. Cutting. Oh my gosh. And they've still got the tags on. <gasps> when they arrived, a rule of oh. So there's a heap of them, all different sizes. Wow, oh, you've got a treasure trove there, my friend. Yes, yeah, she's got to home and see what you want. I think a lot of them will be going back. Um, there's a template there, but it's made out of cardboard. All the different half square triangles sizes. Oh, yeah, yeah. And some patterns. And some patterns. Yeah. They're all from um, uh, Marty Mitchell. Oh, okay. And then there's a nearly whole alphabet of these templates. And uh, all in there. Thanks for learning. All sorts of them, don't I? Wow. Well. Look at those. Oh, my. Huh? Oh, 
couple different ones. So, and these go up in the alphabet. And I've got A, C, D, E, F, H. Well, there you go. You can make an alphabet quilt for your granddaughter. Oh, okay. yeah. They don't, they don't make the actual alphabet. They're just all different types of... I think there's come as kits. I think she was in the kit. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. And different ones each month to make the full set. And there's about two or three missing. There's Q, R, S, T. And then these ones are different. Other got the dye cutting oh, thing. Oh yeah, that's that's for the tumbler pattern, yeah. I mean I I'll never know what to do with them. Now this is the second one of these that she's given me. Um a magic mirror. Oh yeah. can you yeah. explain that a little bit more for me? You um Is that for when you want to do like a kaleidoscope? I think it might be. I don't know because I'm not a quilter. But could I buy that from you? Um, I've got one here that I can put in your bag. Oh, I'll get this back in. You put it, you do like that. Okay. That's what it is to make the kaleidoscopes, yeah. Can you, sorry, you can't really see that, can you? Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, and then you've got all your little panels that um, you can cut out, all exactly yeah. the same. Yeah. Let me buy that from you, unless you want to keep it yourself. Well, I've got two now. I'm not going to get rid of the other one. So I mean, they're both the same, but you know. So yeah. I, I can let you have one if you want. Right? Pretend you're a shop. And let me buy it and pay the postage. Uh, and then there's some of these templates. There's that one, and there's that one again. But it's a lot bigger. Oh, okay. Uh, that's and then the drunk, drunkard's path. Sorry. Is that for the drunkard's path? Is that what it says on it? A little, a little yeah. back porch template. Oh, no. boy, circle. Okay. Quarter circle. To do that, yeah, I think it does the drunkard's path too. Yeah, hmm. a lot of curved sewing in that, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's not so hard though. The curved sewing, yeah. so yes, and as I say, there's three boxes of this other yeah. stuff that um, she. It's all um, curtain samples, mm. which will make ideal totes. They're, you Absolutely. know, shopping, shopping, totes. shopping bags for sure. Yeah, but I've got some of them in the car. And there was more, and I said I can't take them all home. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, when you've used that up, I says, uh, excuse me, there's rather a lot here to use. <laughs> <laughs> so, you yeah. An extension of your craft room if you, if you brought it on. Oh, well, this is what I said. I said, I've tied in my craft room up so I can get in it. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Good on you. Yes, it is, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So that's what I've got. Oh, and there's a bag of all different backing as well, but she didn't want that in the car too. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know if it's any good, whether it's decent soil or what. Just put that back with you. Yes. I'll push that with the other material. There we go. So yes, so that's what I've got. Yeah, a little bit more in the neck, I think. So that it's not crinkly. Yeah. I'm just painting my, or not painting, but drawing my little girl's face here. Oh, I'll put us both on so people can see you doing that. I'm in the little corner down there. There's only three of us on. I don't know where everybody's gone, but <laughs> <laughs> must be somebody interesting on today. Uh, well, there's certainly no cricket. I'm hanging out like? for a good game of cricket. I really like cricket. I like the one dayers. That's all. Yeah. Yeah, I like them. I've gotten to like the tests as well. Right. But I um I don't have sky, so I don't get to see it. Oh, okay. It's all on sky. She is not too bad. Look at her little face. Whoops. There she is. <laughs> She's cute. <laughs> I bought these pencils specifically, <coughs> excuse me, specifically for doing dolls' faces. Yeah. They were recommended by someone. Oh. Cool. Yeah. What are, they, what are they called? Um, stay below. Oh yeah. Stay below. Yeah. They're very fine, 0.4 of a millimeter. Yeah. Yeah, very fine little points so you can get yeah really nice i've um been using fine pens i i've started playing about with some zen handles at night but i'm not very good i don't have a very steady hand <laughs> mm. uh. well i've got to paint her face her shoes now, but i will Outline her at the minute. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I decided I would remake all the my first edition dolls, the first yeah. one I did for the first couple of years, because they um, they're all sold. So. Oh yeah. I'd remake them. Yes, I was looking on your site at them the other week, the other couple of weeks ago. They're all very Facebook. I don't know when I found them. But all the pictures of the dolls. Do you have a web website? No, I don't actually have a, Oh, yeah, I closed that one off at madeit.com. Anyway, I was very impressed the, on the price oh. and everything. Very reasonable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got everything on Facebook. On it might have been on your Facebook page. I don't know. Yeah, that's where I've got all the pictures of my dolls. Yeah, I know they had the prices underneath. All right. Well, some of them do. Yeah. I've still got some. All boxed up. I love you, dollies. I don't realise how much I missed making dolls. Yeah. <coughs> you know, um, <coughs> excuse me, I stopped doing craft for a while and then I went into paper craft and pretty Victoriana type of things. Yeah. But I just didn't realise how much I missed making these dolls. They just, I don't know, I always felt they just sort of come alive when you, you know, when you're making them up. They start off yeah. as something flat and then they just seem to have this little, Prettiness. I used, to make, them. I used to make teddy bears. Oh, did you? Yeah. 
we all did in the family. My daughter-in-law started it off. Then my daughter had to go, and I thought, well, I'll have a go too. And, and then your son? Uh, that then was... Son that made yeah, that, uh, we've all had a go at it. Mm. But I used to all hand sew all those, not on a machine. Oh, my gosh. All backstitched hand sewn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I haven't made one of those in a long time. In terms of place to go back, yeah, back in time and do. They were good because I could um, sit watching TV and doing it, you know. Yeah, right, yeah. But um, mind you, for hand sewing now, my eyesight's not the best. So. You'd need a, a reverse magnifying glass. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've got magnifying glasses ones that you can put around your neck and yeah there's got a bit more fat in the belly look that's better yeah there's that i think that's enough so let's stitch up the seams that i've hashed up Gosh, we had a heavy frost last night. Did you? Yeah. Didn't get up till 10 o'clock and everything was still pure white. <laughs> wow. And it was 12 o'clock before I got outside to do the bird table and water on that was still a lump of ice. How, how cold does it get around your area? I think we might have had a three or four frost. We don't get it as bad as up central. Mm. We are lucky, but um, we'll keep the cold on today. How, how does your um, weather differ South Island to North Island? Um, can be quite drastic. Um, really? because. Well, we're that close to the South Pole down here. Oh, of that, course, uh, yeah. But um, I put the weather in Invercargill on a part of the English weather. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, I used to live coastal in England. Mm. And um, it's very much like that. Lots of wind and, you know. Yeah. Lots nice, weather, nice weather, but not always as hot as the rest of the country because the mm. sea air keeps it that bit cooler. But lots, yeah, lots of rain. Yeah. But our trees here, it's bad for wind. Our trees here grow on a lean. It's that bad. Did you come straight from England to the South Island? No, we stayed off in Auckland first, mm. and um, we didn't like it up there. It was um, it was too much like, like home from home from what we'd left. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we packed up and bought a van and packed up and took just essentials and the kids, of course. Mm. <laughs> And we travelled all the way down. We actually got the promise of a job for John in Greymouth. Right. And we got there and, oh, that was a no-go. Don't like Greymouth at all, I'm afraid. And so 
We went over. We didn't do Christchurch. We went over to Ashburton, and then we travelled down the South Island. And we even got as far as Bluff, but didn't like anything. Yeah. So we started travelling up the middle of the South Island and said, if we don't find anything, we'll keep going and get on a plane and go home. <laughs> okay, yeah. But um, we stopped in Alexandra for the night in a motel one night. Mm. When we got up, we liked what we saw. Oh, and that was it. And by the end of that day, we had um, rented a house and John had got a job. But we didn't stay. We went back home eventually. <laughs> oh, we've done a lot of to and fro in. It's very boring. Oh, okay. Yeah. So how many times did you go back home? Three times. Oh, wow. You were unsettled, didn't you? Didn't know which I one wasn't. you liked. I wasn't. <laughs> you weren't? No. No. Nah. Uh, did you want to stay or did you want to go home? I went to Brazil. I wanted to stay. But mm. Anyway, we went home and back and... And the marriage broke up, so eventually. Yeah. Well, you know. Are your kids born in New Zealand? No, they're all... They're all born in England, are they? Yeah. Our youngest one, Douglas, the one that keeps popping in here, he was um, three and a half when we came. Oh, Okay. Uh. <coughs> so, yeah, we've done a lot and seen a lot because we've done it by air and we did it by sea. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh. Everybody used to say, you know, it's unfair on settling the kids like that all the time. But, but if anything, they did gain from it um, academically. None of them yeah. That way. Yeah, I was uh, brought up like like that, um, travelling. Yeah. Um, Dad was a musician, so he used to travel around Scotland doing doing that, and I had the Musos bus. Yeah. And uh, when I was young, my cot was a laundry basket in the bus. Apparently. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And they, they moved from um, Scotland all day. They went all the way to Africa and back yeah. to Scotland and then back to Africa and then back to Scotland and then to England and yeah, various places in England and then came out here in 1970, I think. Yeah. We first came out in 73. Uh, Well, I don't think it did us kids, there was five of us, any harm at all. No. You know, we got life experiences. Yeah. Well, the first time we went back, or was it the second time we went back, Douglas did, um, he passed to the grammar school. He what? My youngest one, when we went back the one time, we hadn't been back long, mm. and they were taking, entering them for, you know, grammar school entrance. Oh, okay. You know, the old grammar school system. That's right, yeah, yeah. And he passed easy. Yeah. So all what we'd done had not held him back that way. Mm. And uh, I'm not saying he liked it at the grammar school. He didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but um, our kids are pretty resilient, really, for the most part. Yeah. Yeah. 
And then, of course, the other kids are both nurses and been nurses for years. Mm. Oh, that couple was nice. Mine's sitting here going cold. Mine usually does. Yeah. When I do a video, I usually forget about it. Yeah. Get so engrossed in what you're doing. That's right, yeah. Yep, indeed. Yes, indeed. There you go, little girl. There's your fat Tommy at the front, flat at the back. That looks good, yeah. Because I read if you stuff your doll and lie it on the floor, you get a flat back. Oh, I, okay. Yeah, that's what I read recently. Hmm. Lie them on the floor. Hmm. Well, on the table. Yeah. And stuff them that way and it stays flatter at the back oh okay it gives you the fat billy uh, do you do um a um open eyes and a closed eyes yeah all right yeah i can do the closed eyes <laughs> <laughs> I could do them easy. <laughs> but not the open. And that's why I went and put buttons on that other one, but they make they're horrific. I've got to take the buttons off. It's um Yeah, how how old is the um the baby? The two. Two. Yeah, you don't want buttons there, that's for sure. Yeah. So. Well, I've got to knit some hair for this, Dolly. Knit it? Oh. Yeah. The original had um, just strands of knitting um, cast on, cast off. Yeah. Lots of different strands and just stitched onto the middle of her head so she's kind of like a spiky punk <laughs> hmm. i wouldn't like doing that because i hate casting on and i hate casting off <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> gosh don't you hate it when you can't find the end of the ball of the wall mm. yeah We've got a loop there, so let's take it from there. Okay, I'm just going for a minute to look for my pair of needles. Oh, <laughs> Using a pair of three seventy five millimeter. Right. And this is quite thick wool, so I hope it's all right. Hey Patsy, how are you? Welcome. Hello, Patsy. Nice to see you, hun. When you go back to Ruby's. Dye, dye, run your needle through your hair. It'll go in your material easily. Mm. Yeah. Does that. Oh, it's clever clogs. Uh, Patsy. <laughs> Oops. This is a part of sewing I hate is the hand sewing. 
I don't mind it. What you say, Dodo? What you say? <laughs> I'm trying to get my head around how you do the dress and I'm just, I mean, I've been making dolls for pretty close. And I just can't envisage it. No, well, I'll have to read the pattern properly, see how this goes, because I am I don't like how I've done the other one. There's different ways. As, um, yeah. I've seen one where they attach the body and the dress and stuff each part and then stitch up or something. Oh, okay. Um, that's one way, but I haven't done that way. And I did that with my kids' safety pins on the diapers. Oh, right. <laughs> it's been a long time since I did that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nowadays we used um, cloth nappies, not these um, oh. disposable ones. All they use is disposable, the idle lot. Yeah. Because my granddaughter's pregnant again. Oh. And she, uh, she's always talking, get, I hope I can get in pot, um, potty trains. She says, well, it's going to be double the nappies. I says, go out and buy some cloth ones. <laughs> but I don't know if you can these days. No. I can't say as I've ever seen them in, um, you know, your regular stores, Kmart mm. and all that. No, you'd have to go to a specialist shop, I think. Yeah. But you can get some, um, what they do now, it's like... Um, They're pretty ones. I, they're in, being put into like a. They look more like a little panty than a nappy. Oh, okay. Um, but they're washable. Oh, really? Yeah. I think personally, I think it's just. I don't know. It's lazy. Yeah. Oh, I used to have a washing they line. Cost so much, but. Yeah. If you had the cloth nappies, you've just got that one cost and then you've got your yeah. laundering and that's it. But Yeah. In England, it used to be terry toweling. Yes. Yeah, nice. I like. They're the right. ones that I like. Yeah. I've used the flannelette ones as well. No, mine were past nappies by the time. And it was when I got here. I'd never heard of them until I got here. Mm. Patsy likes hand sewing. I'll get here and do mine. That's what you could do. Come and spend time with me. I don't shout at you like Ruby. Sakes, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Stella? That's it. Yeah, and rubber pants, Patsy. Yeah, the rubber pants were good, and you, mind you, if they if you kept them too long and they went too tight, uh, crackly on the legs, they would have been uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I used to um, just tuck a little bit of tuck it behind the nappy a little bit so it didn't get on their little legs. Yeah. Wow. Well. I'm not sure that I like what I'm doing here. Ah. Her hair would go, where are we? A bunch of just, because when you cast on and cast off, it twists. Yeah, that's right. So you have these little bits in here just, just hanging all over the place. Yeah, I'll keep going. 
It's just 12 inches, that one, I think. Yes, you might like it on mass. Yeah. I cut out a pattern look for a little teddy bear yesterday. Oh. <laughs> but I'll go round there and then that'll be his ears. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I'll give the sleepy doll a teddy bear. It's a good idea. How do you bear? Oops. This wheel really is thick. Hmm. Looks it actually. Yeah. I think my needles are probably a bit too thin for this thickness. Oops. And glue in middle of head. <coughs> yeah, I just wanted something different. Yeah. Originally, actually, Stella makes lots of dolls. Clint, she knows what she's looking for. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah, you have to do forearms, don't you? Gosh, where was my brain? Forearms. What happened to me? What happened to you? <laughs> Whoops. Where have you gone, Di? Yeah, where is she? Can't I? I don't even hear her voice. You hear her? I don't even hear her. Got 
and die die. Okay. Oops. another one twisty so they will go on and just all like oops all over almost like dreadlocks but wow this wool is hard to knit with these small needles. You can still hear you can still hear me, Dado? Hello, possum. You want to come say hello? You want to come say hello? Come here. Beautiful boy. This is my beautiful little boy. What's that? Is that wool? Hey, eh? what is that? Look at the sun. Too much sun. Oh, too much sun. Hey, beautiful boy. Did you want to go outside? Did you want to go out and chase a moggy? Go out. Makes his day if he can chase a cat. He's a beautiful little puppy, Clint. You want to come back in now? Do you think that was quick? That was quick. God, it's freezing out there. 
freezing. This can become tedious, but when you want something different, you've got to do what you got to do. Jude! Is Jude here? There you are. Hi, Jude. Yeah, doing another doll. This is Miss Amber. She was originally designed in nineteen. Oh, 19, Let's see about 19, no, hang on, hang on, about 2006, yeah, about 2006 she was originally designed. And I just fancied making her again. Gonna look quite cute when it's finished. Lots more of these. Can't do that, Clint. This is um, dies. Uh, How's it going, die? Black and white minstrel upside down doll. Wow. 
I love the old black and white minstrels. Showing my age here. Oh my, okay. Uh, I know it does, Jude, yeah, I'm loving it. Oh. I can't even offer a suggestion, do I? But no idea. Would it make a difference if I got out of this one? I think these days the black and white minstrels would be called racist, racism. Oh, crap. So I'm, am I still on your stream yard, Di? Oh, and remember the um, the Gollywog dolls? You can't even call them Gollywogs anymore. I remember when I was um, okay. So if I go out. Yours might fix. Yeah, I love gollywogs. In fact, I've got one half made, which I'm going to do on a YouTube. Um, I did a, um, a teddy bear, well, a kind of a long, skinny teddy bear type of thing for um, Craft Magazine, and he had a little toy gollywog. And the editor said normally they wouldn't allow that, but she said she'll squeeze it. She'll squeeze it by the editor. So she did. So you can't even make a, a um, bloody golly doll. Well, stuff the rules and regulations. Yeah. Okay, Di, I'm going to go out of here and see what happens, okay? That might be able to get her back in. <laughs>